Right, have we got people yet? Hi everyone. There's no one here. <laughs> we've only just gone live so we'll wait for a few minutes hey we've got some people how are we doing everyone i hope you're well this lovely tuesday morning yeah it is tuesday it is tuesday yeah it's been a while since you've seen me i've been off so i'm back back in business i hope everyone's keeping well today we'll be covering netflix titles i don't know if you guys have seen on our website that uh we have the netflix titles uh, collection so all but a, you're, a lot of people don't realise a lot of Netflix titles on the actual platform are inspired by books. Yep. For example, Queen's Bandit, Gambit, sorry, um, The Witcher, um, Captain Underpants, Horrid Henry, a series of unfortunate events. Some fantastic shows. A lot of people don't realise actually uh, based off books. So today we'll be covering uh, just a few books that uh, we've carefully selected. Um, just to review, just for you guys. Jess? Yeah, um, and just like to follow on from that, we've got kind of a range of books. So we've got some for children as well. You can probably see some of the ones we've got behind us too. Um, but then also some for parents or teens as well, so a little bit older. Um, and as always, please feel free to comment. Um, we want to hear from you and see kind of what you're reading. I know this might sound a bit strange that we're kind of reviewing Netflix titles because we're all about reading, but the thing is it's quite nice to be able to read the story and then sort of like watch it Yeah, as well. I think a lot of people tend to not realise, um, especially this happens a lot in anime with manga, that a lot of source material is sort of skipped over. Um, so, for example, key events or maybe deeper detailing that goes into the progression of the of the characters will be missed simply because they haven't got enough recording time. Yeah. Whereas with books, there's an unlimited amount of time. You can go into as much as much detail as you can, as much detail as you want. Because there's no real time constraint. Whereas with a production, there's a time constraint because there's production going on. There's actors. It always gets changed a bit, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> so. You, you might unlock a lot of things about your favourite characters just by simply reading the books. Um, I definitely found that when I started um, reading manga rather than watching it. Well, I watch anime, and well, I also read manga, and that'll be in different days. Um, yeah. There's episodes. a nice comment here. So um, it's so interesting watching a series after reading. You find out bits that have been mixed, but also how events played out in real time. Yes, yes it's true. And um, even with things like when children are learning at school, say like Shakespeare and um, Jane Austen and things like that, there's always sort of like the on screen or even the theatre production. So there's no sort of harm in, in having both. Um, should we get stuck in? We've only, yeah, we've got. Yeah. Well, tell us your favourite, um, <laughs> tell us your favourite Netflix shows based on books, if you guys know. Um, We'll be reading throughout. We'll be reading all comments throughout uh, the show. So make sure you let us know what's your favourite Netflix title. Um, and yeah, we'll get straight into it. Yeah. Do you want to go just kick things off? Yeah, cool. So I've got a really fun one to start with. Um, you'll see this here. It's Captain Underpants. It's on both sides. Sorry. So this is a really fun, um, a fun sort of collection in a series that is is on Netflix. Um, there are many, <laughs> hey, there are many, many um, episodes on there that um, children can watch and enjoy. But the reason why I picked this one out is just because it's a lot of fun. Um, there's sort of um, the famous author Dav um, Pilkey is has um, obviously created this series, and it's yeah, definitely. I think the um, Netflix series brings it to life. Um, these are just hilarious. These books are known for being full of like sort of mayhem and um, sort of all sorts of adventures going on. But actually having the book and then bringing it to life on the series is, is quite nice. It's aimed definitely more at kind of younger children. Um, so probably the books are aged sort of um, age five to seven or seven to nine. So I'm sure that kind of the shows sort of um, reflect that as well. Um, but yeah, they're they're really fun. So I'll just show you the books as well inside. Do you want to go to the camera with one? Yeah, can sure. do. So in this collection, there are um, ten books, and they cover all of the kind of sort of normal chaos that Captain Underpants gets up to. Um, 
I think this is quite a nice read for children as well, simply because it's so illustration heavy. Uh, it's quite easy to read, especially for those um, re- those young readers who don't enjoy reading as much as others. Um, I know I was one of those people when I was growing up. Um, <laughs> the pictures just definitely helps um, just sort of illustrate things and sort of bring it to life for you before you actually watch the live show. But yeah, they're really nice illustrations. They're quite, uh, quite funny. I think the kids would definitely enjoy them. Yeah, well. definitely. It's also been a film as well. I think it was a DreamWorks production and it's on DVD and things like that. So there's, I'm sure parents and children are really familiar with um, with this with this set. So that's why I picked this one out. It's plenty of fun, full of full of laughter. And I think that if your kids have got the book set, the book set, why not treat them to watching it on Netflix as well? Or, or like I said, there is a film, um, a film too. So that's a massive 10 book collection. Um, and we'll give you all of the product information and details after, after we finish this live, but that's, that's on our website. So definitely, you know, um, give, give that one a, a big sort of five star review, I think yeah, from me. Yeah, yeah. So um, I won't, shall I just, I'll show you all the books that are in there, just so you've got them actually, because there are 10. So we've got Captain Underpants and... Do you um, have all the books for you? Yeah, but the thing is, I don't know what the um, names are. <laughs> the Revolting Revenge of the Radioactive Robo Boxes. How many books are in this set? Yeah, there's 10. I'll probably go through them all. They've got some hilarious titles, but that just goes to show you the kind of, the kind of fun. And as Millen demonstrated, they're, they're illustrated and... Um, chapter books as well so kind of got that nice comic style which you'll see if you watch the series as well so let us know if you've watched this series if you've read the books and if your kids love them so it's Captain Underpants so if you go into one of mine yeah let's I think it's pretty hard to talk about Netflix and then books inspired about talking about the Queen the Queen's Gambit now I must admit I never read the books I watched it um, simply because of um <laughs> Anya Taylor Joy Anya Taylor Joy. because um, I think yeah, I think she's incredible. Um and I was told by a lot of friends that who watched it, they suddenly picked up chess. So I was thinking this must be something special for a lot of my friends um who aren't necessarily into chess, um picking up and watching it. So I watched it and um her performance of Beth Harmon was just fantastic. It's it's a female-led um, show regarding a girl who's just seriously, seriously intelligent, um, orphaned at a young age, and you see her journey progress from being a casual uh, chess player to being a champion, uh, and it's fantastic. And you see sort of the struggles that she deals with um, as she progressively gets older and older. So the actual series is inspired by, not inspired, but it's based off three books, as you can see here. Um, so you have The Queen's Gambit, you have The Colour of Money, very cool name for a book. They look really cool as and, well. And uh, The Hustler. As you can tell, it's probably for a, it's an older audience, especially with some of the themes that go through um, the series and the books uh, regarding abuse of different substances, and uh, you just see. So this is definitely one for it's kids one for the, it's not for the yeah. It's definitely one for the older, older audience. But the book goes into, the books go into so much more detail um, into what she what Beth was going through, her relationship with her friends and her family, and the real struggles that she sort of had to face as a young lady who had come into a lot of fame at a young age, as well as a lot of money. So that sort of journey. As a young lady, I believe it's made based in the sixties, I believe. But there's no reason why perhaps sort of like young adult, like late teens, couldn't read the book. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, Definitely. if they're mature, sophisticated enough, obviously it's down to parents' preference. But there's yeah. no reason why they couldn't necessarily read the book and, you know have conversations and learn about these things. Yeah, so. I think they definitely cover a lot of um older audience um topics yeah so more mature and yeah, yeah. But i think also especially to see such a strong female lead um in this story is so inspiring as well especially like as a as a guy who's seen so many male um driven stories but have this female who's incredibly clever incredibly strong 
and doesn't take any nonsense from anyone. It's, it's so lovely to see that sort of representation um, being done. But read the book first. Read the book first. I've not watched it or read the book, so I think I'm going to do I've this been, one today. I'm pretty sure um, The Queen Gambit was a limited series on Netflix, oh. so I'm not too sure it's any, on there anymore. Um, but to sort of dive into the books, um, like mentioned, um, the books are for an older audience. So, unlike Captain Underpants, there's not many, there's <laughs> next to no illustrations uh, besides the cover. But font size wise, it's a bit difficult to do. It's more like a novel, really, isn't it? Yeah, and novels. they're not very, um, they're not very thick. So I can't imagine it'll take you long to sort of um, complete. No. But yeah, as not. Jasmine mentioned, it's really cool covers. Like graphically, um, as a designer, as the designer I am, I I can really appreciate what they've done here. They're very clever with. Um, what they've done in terms of the cover. And especially the colours are really nice as well. And do you have to read these? Do you start with the Queen's Gambit? Yes. Right. Cool. Cool, so do you, want to, show, do you want to show us your um, yeah, second Yeah, so I'm going to go on to my next one. So don't forget, um, stay tuned to for the whole live because we will be giving away all four of the box sets that we're reviewing. Um, I might just have a quick... Um, do you think the Queen's Gambit could encourage chess with kids? Either? Yeah, massive. I don't know if, oh, sorry, I'm yeah. really enthusiastic. Um, I don't know if you guys watched the news when it came out, but chess board sales went up by 400%, which is crazy. Um, I know family members of mine who love playing chess, they sort of, um, they've taught my younger cousins how to play, and now they know how to play, and I still don't know how to play, but they absolutely school me, so, the Queen's Gambit was a serious, serious hit on the the chess industry, if you like, Just especially with her, with um, Anya Taylor Joy's performance of um, Beth Harmon. But oh, yeah, do you sounds know, good. Go yeah. Um, so my next series is I couldn't um, I couldn't not do this without talking about Bridgerton. So, I don't know if any of you saw, but two days ago, Netflix um, announced the series two of this, and the views on their official um, YouTube channel was like 1.6 million or something. Oh, wow. It's probably gone up now. So, series two of Bridgerton is coming very, very soon. They've just released the trailer. Um, so, what a fantastic time, if you haven't already, is to get the collection. Um, there are five books in this collection, and I think that this is definitely a case of, the series is fantastic, don't get me wrong, but this is definitely a case where the books are better. <laughs> um, in this, I think it's just brilliant because the stories are, are, are split, so you get the introduction where you've got um, the Duke and I, so you start with that one. Um, romancing Mr. Bridgerton. Then you've got the Viscount who loved me. Sorry, I'm not going very close with those, am I? Um, then we've got to Sir Philip with love. And then finally, we've got an offer from a gentleman. So these are really, um, they're your fiction rom, yay, series two, I know, sort of like romantic um, fiction and obviously bringing in the element of kind of, um, sort of royalty and sort of British heritage and all of that kind of thing. Obviously, Bridgerton is a popular series all around the world. Everybody's kind of going crazy for it. Um, it's aimed more at kind of a young adult or even sort of parents, you know, I, I love this series, but um, I actually think that it's really nice for kind of, um, for, for children who are interested in sort of British literature, if they've read things like sort of Shakespeare books or even Jane Austen, there's no reason why they can't read this. If you, they've got any questions about any of the characters or anything that, about kind of what What's it was like. <coughs> Sorry. What's Air Bridgeton about? So it is um, sort of twists and turns within sort of British heritage and royal, so I guess the royals and, the, and sort of society, not as in our queen kind of royals yeah um but it's based in the 18th century so it's going back quite far so that's why i was sort of was saying if your children have read things like jane austen um so we have got the jane austen collection which has been adapted as well but that's all that's also set quite a long time ago oh, wow. um 
it's I mean it's definitely underlying it's still about romance yeah. so if you're a big sort of romantic fiction um, reader at heart then this is definitely the collection to you um, it, it's a lot about marriage twists and turns um, what it was like to get married sort of back then um, who you're kind of like promised to who you you know lots of lust of love and things like that so um, and is it a five book set yes yeah, so that's a five book set I definitely recommend I really recommend that if you're going to be watching the second series and you haven't read the books yeah, then then get them, get your hands on them. You'll be working your way through them in no time at all. And then you'll kind of be like, oh yeah, then I saw that bit on the series or that bit hasn't happened yet. But that's fine because you'll still have the book and you don't have to wait for the next episode or Sweet. one and a half years or whatever it was for the next series. Um, the High Brother Bridgerton oh, wow. series pushed me to read The Duke and I. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah, I think that will a lot. So that's why I chose that one for today. Sweet. And for my final book, it's one close to my heart, I must admit. I grew up watching this, grew up in the 90s, been a 95 baby. Pokemon. Let's see a look. And this is the Super Collection. But this, is, this collection has 16 books in it. Um, and it's all about Ash and Pikachu's adventures. Um, going through all the regions from Aloha, I know it's Aloha, um, the Johto region, as well as I believe some of the Hoenn. Um, but these books are 100% um, sort of targeting for younger, like younger kids. I'm just going to interrupt for one second. There's just been a couple of questions. So would you list these book choices anyway? Yes, we'll absolutely list yeah, them. Yeah, when we course. post this on our Instagram, IGTV afterwards, we'll put the product number for each, um, for each book and we can put the price and everything as well. So you can just take that product code, pop it into the website and you'll be able to get it. So yeah, we'll do that straight after this. Yeah, so go into a bit more detail. I must admit, when I was looking through this set myself, I was very surprised that all versions, or well, different versions of Ash, uh, were shown on this. So you've got the original one, which I um, grew up on, which is that sort of character design, which in my opinion is the best one and only one, which is worth, uh, worth looking at. And then you have hit this guy, I have no clue who he is, why he got a moustache and all that jazz. But um, yeah, so... The nice thing about this collection is that it doesn't just cover the Alloan, uh, which is the latest uh, region. It covers all the region. Uh, it covers quite a few, so obviously that like, mentioned the Johto as well. So, just so before going under, a, bit, a bit into the books, um, it's a combination of um, text as well as some sort of... I can describe a screenshot from an episode. As, oh, as an episode, as you can see. Um, and as you can see, the, the text is quite big, it's quite easy to understand. There's a lot of space in between the, the, the writing as well, makes it even easier to follow. Um, and each of these books are effectively one episode. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Okay. So it's one episode, um, but there are chapters to it. So what would make it a little bit easier when it comes down to reading time with your children is that um, you can say, we'll do one chapter tonight, we'll do the next chapter. You sort of want that anticipation for the next chapter. And then they could, watch, well. the same, they could watch the episode yeah, yeah, as a bit yeah. of a reward once they finish the book. And that would give them a nice encouragement to keep reading through the whole series. Because yeah. you said there's 15 books. In there's the book. 16 books uh, in total, but 15 of those books are actual novels as shown. Um, and like that one as well. Um, but one book is a colouring book. So it's a nice little activity and a nice little bit of a break from... So we've just got a question yeah, there. Are there books for older kids with good morals in the stories? Um, in general, absolutely. Oh, yeah, there's, Pokemon there's in general lots. have quite a positive um, reinforcement of being a good person. Um, maybe that's why I'm the person that I am today I grew up watching Pokemon myself. But I think in general as well, there's lots of books on the website that can... Um, that have got morals sort of in them, whether it's about sort of, um, it could be about friendship, it could be yeah. about equality. Um, there's, there's lots, I mean, we don't sort of call them out in that sort of way, but yeah. um, there's definitely about. And I think there's quite a lot about, um, especially in some of the... Um, Inclusivity, really. Yeah, and some of the younger children's stories, there's quite a lot that are based in schools or about sort of like normal everyday adventures, so like friendships and... Um, experiences so there's there's definitely plenty um 
you can always DM us if you want some specific recommendations and we can come up with some for you. And to sort of uh, conclude our time looking at the Pokemon collection, um, this is how it is in terms of um, the colouring book. So they are fairly detailed, um, as you can see. And again, as a treat, you can really allow your kids just to paint one page or two pages um, at a time, really. And there's so much going on in these pictures that um, I'll keep them occupied for at least an hour. At least. <laughs> um, but yeah, 16 books, I think they'll be a fantastic um, gift for Christmas, which is literally coming up, which we'll be covering in the, ne in the next couple um, Instagram Lives. Um, but for birthdays, for gifts, and I'll never forget one of the best suggestions I've ever heard in my life is from Jessie. If your son or daughter was to have a birthday party, for a gift pack, buy one party of- Party bag. Party. Yeah, party bag, sorry. It's been a long time since I've been to one. Um, give them out in the box, so you can buy it in a book set, and then give each child one of the books. I think it's a really cool um, sort of gift for them to have. Yeah, definitely. So, uh, yeah. Cool, so don't forget you can win all four of these. So um, all you need to do after this post is, um, what once we post this up is make sure you're following us and um, we'll be choosing a lucky winner um, by tomorrow. And also let us know your favorite um, product we've covered today. Yeah. We'd definitely. love to hear from you any sort of, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So any comment below when this goes live on our posts, um, we'll be able to pick up our, our, our winner. So cool. thank um, you so much for watching. Yeah, I was just gonna say there are a few more sets that we didn't get a chance to cover at the back here. So um, you can probably see there's an Ultimate Peppa Pig collection that's got 50 books in it. That is a really incredible set. So if your child is a fan of Peppa Pig and that series, um, I definitely recommend that because it does bring those it, it covers all of the episodes, so they are quite split into episodes, and I certainly know that my son, when he got those books, they're really sort of um, really cute kind of size. I can just put them in my handbag or put them in his bag. And, um, oh, that's a really nice idea. So somebody was saying that they did use some books for World oh, Pig Day. Oh, yeah, that's really nice. I think the Peppa Pig collection is really good for that. It's probably a little bit younger, but um, it's got all of the um, key characters and all of like, I mean, there's hundreds of Peppa Pig episodes, so 50 is nothing, but it's got some really great ones and it covers all the main characters, you know, Freddy Fox and everything else. Um, there's also a Horrid Henry collection, so if your child is a fan of the Captain Underpants, then that's a really cool one to have as well. Like we said, that covers lots of different kind of um, experiences, adventures, um, all about growing up. As, as a young child. And I definitely think also for, um, for um, Queen's Gambit fans, especially that older audience, um, I know there's a massive following for the series You. Uh, we also have a, a three book um, series here for you guys. Um, you can buy from our website, which is literally just going in a bit more detail. I think the guy's name is Joe. I don't personally watch it, so I've not read it. But um, yeah, we have all the books yeah. here. I'm pretty sure they probably will. Do they reckon they cover season two? Yeah, so there's actually, I think, three seasons of the, or two or three seasons of the actual series, but the books are fantastic. Um, the books are actually written quite a long time ago, if I'm honest. Um, I'll just double check. Yeah, so 2018 is when they were published, but um, yeah, they are, they are really, really fantastic series. So if you haven't um, got these and you're looking for something to kind of like snuggle up to and it's a bit sort of suspense and a bit of thriller as well as some kind of romance in there, then definitely get these for autumn. Um, just kind of continuing on there. So we've got a couple more that we've pulled out and we've got loads more on the website, but there's the Cassandra Clare um, Mortal Instruments collection as well, which is a huge series. We've got um, To All The Boys I've Loved Before, so a little bit more kind of like older teens, young adults as well. A really fun, light-hearted series on Netflix. And what we'll do, we'll make sure that we have a link on our posts when we put this out um, for our Netflix uh, collection. So do make sure that you do check it out on our website. We have got a banner on our homepage um, specifically for this. So yeah. Now's the time, isn't it? With yeah. autumn drawing in, snuggle up, sit down and uh, read a good book. So yeah, thank you so much for pay, uh, being with us for today's episode of The Book Club. And yeah, please do let us know your favourite um, titles we've covered. 
and uh, we look forward to announcing um, who the winner is of today's giveaway. Cool. So thank, thank you. Very much. Bye. Take care, guys. Cheers.